Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about the Lush Kitchen and what they're going to be making for us to buy, uh, for any of us to buy, whether or not we live in the UK or the US. Um, next week, September 4th through September 8th, and the Lush Kitchen are going to be making a whole new range of products. Lush is running their Naked House campaign currently and so they are going to be introducing many products that are reformulated with no packaging and the Lush Kitchen are going to be making available some of those new products for us to buy and try uh, way before anyone else gets to uh, buy them and use them and as I understand it, their concept is they're striving for little to no packaging in their products. For instance, as I understand it, they found a replacement for the, uh, the Lush Black Pot and now have a, a pot that is entirely, um, none of it goes to waste, none of the packaging goes in the compost heap. It's all product. Here's a picture of the Olive Branch uh, new naked version. And as I understand it, the bottle itself is the product and it's made in part with a seaweed mixture uh, much like they make the uh, jelly bombs with and as it was explained to me from Lush there is no liquid in the bottles you know it, it the bottle is the product okay but I and I thought initially that the bottle it was the product but that it would also have liquid in it that you could pour out but that is not the case the bottles don't have liquid in them um, let me see. I could I could compare them to a massage bar, not in terms of what they're made out of, but in terms of what they look like. So, for instance, the new shower gels um, look like, say, um, a bottle-shaped massage bar or solid lotion. However, I understand that when you add water, it activates and the consistency that you can wash with at that point turns into sort of gel consistency much like shower gel and the container itself seems to me to be like a soap I know that a lot of you were really concerned about melting I see a lot of you asking Lush you know are these containers uh, a melt risk and um, I don't know what the answer is. However, I did ask Lush that question because as you know, I live on the sun, so that is a concern. And I was told that the uh, shower gels and such and the bottled products aren't a, uh, a, a melting concern, but that the solid body conditioners are a, a concern for melting. So, um, and again, I would advise uh, any of us not to take these few chunks of information that are coming through, not to take those at, and, and, and run with them because, you know, not, not all the information is out there for the public. Just because I have some information doesn't mean I have all the information. And so the lovely Kelly and Danica from the Lush Kitchen will be having a video where they will explain those things and answer those questions that we have. And the bottles are made from a seaweed consistency. I have a blog page uh, on my lushalot.com blog. I'll put a link to it down in the description box and at the end of this video uh, on the screen. And the blog page is all about the new Lush Naked products. Um, I've got some info about some new facial oils that they're making, uh, some new aromatherapy oils, what their names are and what they smell like, and uh, shower gels, 
soaps, body conditioners, wash cards, and I have all of those products with their pictures and names and description, descriptions and such on my blog. If you want to take a look, and I'm going to be adding more and more and more and more uh, to that page every day for the next couple of weeks. So on Monday, however, Lush is not going to be making uh, one of the new Naked products. What they are going to be making on Monday for us is Orange Blossom Perfume. And my, 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 I haven't seen Orange Blossom Perfume in quite a while. I have an Orange Blossom Perfume here um, that I can get you here. Now, Orange Blossom Perfume is a retro Lush Gorilla Perfume that they sold um, they discontinued this around 2012, 2013, something like that. They have a uh, Gorilla Perfume exclusives gift set with um, all these perfumes in them. And so there's Orange Blossom. And Orange Blossom is an, a flower. <laughs> And uh, traditionally, it's used in bridal bouquets. It's a white flower, a lovely little soft petaled white flower. And Lush will be selling orange blossom perfume in one of these uh, square bottles here, 30 mils. And I'm going to name some Lush products that, uh, that have orange flower in them and that smell like orange flower so you can get an idea of what the perfume smells like. So things that have a lot of orange blossom in there. Um, Love and Light uh, Lush Hand Cream. Um, flowering Tea Bubble Bar. Of course, the orange, uh, orange flower uh, bath oil. Um, let me think of what else. Um, um, the Lush product Frozen has a similar uh, note to orange flower in it. Um, what else? So, so that kind of scent. I think you're 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 feeling me now. It's it's that kind of scent that, and that is what this perfume smells like. So, if you like those products, you'll love this scent. And if you don't like the scent of those products, you probably will not like this orange blossom scent. On the rare scale, um, it's really hard to find. So those of you who like to collect or buy rare Lush things or limited edition Lush things should think about buying Orange Blossom Perfume. The Orange Blossom Liquid Perfume is going to be 39 pounds, which works out to $50. On Tuesday, they're going to be making the Oat Solid Naked Soap. And here's a picture of that. And it's made with oats, which of course are very soothing to sort of itchy, rashy, red skin. Oat liquid soap is going to be £5.95, which works out to $7.71 if you're paying in US dollars. Also on Tuesday is the Olive Branch Naked Shower Gel. And these bottles are 250 gram medium size. And the Olive Branch, as uh, a lot of you know, is a very popular shower gel that Lush sells currently in all of their stores and online in, of course, the regular uh, black bottle uh, shower gel. And so the naked solid version of this shower gel is gonna be available on Tuesday and it's going to be £9.75 which works out to $12.63 if you're paying in US dollars. Get this, okay, on Wednesday, Plum Rain Naked Shower Gel. So as those of you know, um, Plum Rain is a shower gel that is available uh, at Lush UK right now. It is one of my favorite shower gels. I have a demo and review video of the Plum Rain shower gel in the regular bottle here on my YouTube channel in case you uh, want to know what that smells like and I'll put a link to that demo video below. So it's sort of like a plumish, berryish sort of scent. It's a somewhat sweet scent, and um, it's made with umeboshi plums and uh, orange, as, a, as, as I recall. And so this solid version of the shower gel will be made available for us to buy on Tuesday. 
on Wednesday, excuse me, and it's going to be 11 pounds 25, which works out to $14.57 if you're paying in US dollars. Also on Wednesday is something called Stoner Rock Solid Deodorant. And here's a picture of the Stoner Rock Solid Deodorant. And um, it's similar in how you use it to the solid deodorants that Lush currently sells now in their stores and online called Aromaco. There are three different kinds of the solid deodorants and one of them is called Stoner. They're going to be selling this in the kitchen for £6.95 which works out to $9. On Thursday the Lush Kitchen is going to be making Happy Hippie shower gel in the naked solid bottle form. Happy Hippie is one of Lush's classic shower gels. Lush has been selling Happy Hippie. Uh, Happy Hippie is one of the first shower gels that Lush had ever made and sold to the public. It's made with grapefruit and it's a yellow shower gel. Um, I would show you all the shower. I have the, the regular shower gels uh, that I could show you, but it's not going to do any good because new solid forms look nothing like these so it's really not going to help you and that's the only reason why I'm not going to show you the the shower gel bottles like I usually do because it's really not relevant to to these uh, new solid forms and the solid naked product bottles the colors of them coincide with the product and the happy hippie naked shower gel is going to be nine pounds 25 which works out to $11.98. Also on Thursday is the new Rose Argan solid containerless body conditioner. It's a naked body conditioner. And it looks to me like this is an even more firm and solid version of Rose Argan body conditioner. I believe that Lush will be having two or three uh, of these new um, naked body conditioners, Rose Argan being one of them. Now I did ask Lush about um, melting because as you know I live on the sun so that was a, a legitimate concern for me. <laughs> and I was told that the bottles, the shower gels, aren't a real melting concern but that the body conditioners are a melting concern. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and order one because you know me, I'm like, I'm just, you know, I buy it. I don't care if I don't, I don't like it. I have to review it. So I'm going to be buying one and uh, we'll let you know what that's like. This is one of the ones I'm, I'm really rather interested in and I'm interested in how they're going to be, uh, displayed or stored in the stores if if that um, if they plan on selling these in all of the stores in all countries. I don't know what size this Rose Argan uh, naked body conditioner will be but Lush is going to be having the beautiful Kelly and Danica to explain those uh, kinds of things. I apologize so much if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. It, it's either Danica or Danica. I used to go to high school with a girl named Danica, and so, um, but I don't want to assume that that's how you pronounce your name. But anyway, Rose Argan Naked Body Conditioner is going to be eight pounds 95, which works out to $11.59. And then on Friday, Lush is going to be making Dirty Spring Wash Naked Solid Shower Gel. And Dirty Spring Wash is also sold currently in all stores and online. And it's an herbal smell with a tiny bit of mint in it. It's kind of a gender neutral scent, though a lot of men like Dirty Spring Wash scent. Dirty Spring Wash is going to be £9.75, which works out to $12.63. And then lastly, also on Friday, the Lush Kitchen is going to be making their oregano naked solid soap. And the oregano soap was made in the uh, Lush Retro soap fragrance called 13 Unlucky for Dirt, which the Lush Kitchen has made previously. And you can see a picture of this soap on my blog. And the oregano naked soap is going to be £5.95, which works out to $7.71. 
So those are the products in the Lush Kitchen that they're going to be making for us to buy next week, September 4th through September 8th. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer them or point you in the right direction where you can get them answered. By the way, I do have a uh, worldwide YouTube giveaway that I'm doing here on my YouTube channel now until September 10th and you can see the video uh, that I uploaded yesterday uh, which describes what I'm giving away and um, how to enter and subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new Lush video and I do upload a new Lush video from one to five times every week and as always thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.